Hey beautiful Pisces, welcome to your tarot reading for whenever you find it. Timing is divine, so this reading is timeless, but the energy that I am working in is the end of October through November 2024. So I'm doing a life path reading for you Pisces for the month ahead using the Trick or Treat Tarot, and then I will get some um, Oracle cards from the Halloween Oracle and from the Seasons of the Witch Samhain Oracle. All right. So you're going from Nine of Pentacles to Queen of Cups, to Three of Cups. Your first advice card is Temperance. Your path leads to Six of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords. And then your other advice card is King of Wands. All right, and we will get some clarifiers for some of these moving forward, but let's just look look at these really quick here. So your path, Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Three of Cups, this is creative energy. Nine of Pentacles is self-sufficiency. It's an entrepreneur energy for many of you beautiful Pisces. It is um, being alone for some of you Pisces in relationship, being alone at home, being alone at work, you know, working for yourself, working from home. Um, there is a sense of I got me here with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Uh, definitely following your emotional guidance system, going in the direction that you choose that makes you happy. Um, you know, which may be because, you know, the, you may have this kind of hermit energy of self-sufficiency and aloneness because you're doing what you want to do. Three of Cups. This is a destined kind of joyful energy as well. Um, but the three of cups are the norns. They are the, are, they are the fates. You know, they, they do weave your destiny. So there is a destiny moment coming up for you. But this is also a moment of celebration and, and, and good cheer. And I can't help but notice visually. She's holding up a cup. She's holding up a cup. They're all holding up a cups. She's holding a couple cups. This is a very emotional time, but super emotionally fulfilling. These are all really high vibe cups. All right. Um, and then you, and then where we're going here, six of swords is, uh, kind of going into a better direction, moving into, um, a more peaceful and balanced lifestyle for many of you beautiful Pisces. And you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords and then the King of Wands also for your advice. So these are all court cards. These are all male court cards. These are, um, energies of the divine masculine going after what it wants. Um, the Knight of Pentacles isn't super fast energy and the Page of Swords is, you know, learning and doing research, you know, so it feels like you're, you're beginning something new that's going to take time and information, wisdom. And then here in your advice card here, it's don't worry, boss up, you got this, you know, that kind of thing. So it's a, it's a very beautiful reading. Um, but it is interesting that it goes all divine feminine, all divine masculine. You know, it's just like there's a real shift here in your energy. Divine feminine is sitting back and receiving. She is the passive energy of the goddess that thinks what she wants, that believes what she wants, that envisions it. And then the law of attraction brings those things to her. You know, and she just works out of intuition and 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 heart strength basically right and down here you have your divine masculine which is saying now it's time to put the work in now it's time to make it happen you know you will um, need to step up in some ways that kind of thing so that's interesting um so you know and i will say also about the nine of pentacles that this is the the nine in the major arcana is the hermit card so there's a lot of wisdom with the hermit there's a lot of maturity and uh, that's why the hermit is good to be alone. He's fine. You know, he's climbed the mountain. He's doing his thing. And um, and he's shining his light of wisdom for the world to see, to illuminate the world. So he's sharing wisdom with the world. I feel like you have a lot of maturity and experience in something. And now you're like, you know what? I don't need to do this for you. I don't need to do this with you. I don't need to ask your permission. H however that resonates for with you Pisces. This could be at a job where you're like, you know what? I could be a better boss than you. I could make, I could do this better than you. I'm going to open this business up myself. You know, I'm going to, um, 
I'm, I'm holding this place up. I'm going to use my talents, gifts, and abilities for something that blesses me instead of just kind of holding you up some, somehow. You know, I'm just, for whatever reason, I'm really getting that for you. Um, but there, you know, there's a lot of wisdom here that you're sharing with the world too. So a lot of you Pisces are teaching in some way or speaking or writing or making art that's somehow illuminating the world for others. Okay. And the Queen of Cups, she, you know, she pays attention to her emotions. She follows her emotional guidance system better than any other card in the tarot. If something doesn't feel good, she's not going to um, have it in her life. You know, if words, if she's listening to, say, the news, and it's kind of lowering her vibration, she recognizes that right away and turns it off. Because her feelings are the most important thing to her because she understands that if she feels good about her life, her life is good, you know, so she's always on the lookout. She's very, very aware of how she feels. Um, but she's also, I mean, the queen of wands is, um, like I said, this is a, a lot of emotions here, right? She's, she's, she's happy. She's in peace, you know, but she is in her feels as well, you know, and I feel like you're going from really feeling deeply to this divine masculine doing deeply, you know, being proactive so much so that you're not really taking time to examine your feelings, which is fine. You know, there's a time for everything. And it's just real interesting that you're so deeply immersed in your emotions here and not at all down here. So that's interesting. So if you're starting to feel depressed or if you're starting to feel, um, you know, fearful or, you know, um, regretful or anything like that, don't worry because um, this this will be a very short lived energy, all right. And pretty soon your your feelings won't even you'll be following your emotional guidance system, but your feelings won't come into play with how you're experiencing your day to day. And the three of cups, like I said, uh, you can see just by the imagery here. These are like the fates, right? Dancing around a cauldron um, with their long dresses, holding their cups up that reflect into the sky what it is that they're feeling, like. Putting, like taking manifestation to the next level by doing it in threes. You know, three is the number of the empress, the number of the great creatrix, right? So there is a very creative energy here and there's a strong destined energy here as well. Okay. And then six of swords, knight of pentacles, page of swords. Six of swords, first of all, is definitely going to a calmer, easier lifestyle or place to be. Um, and it, you know, uh, this, these cups go away when you reach this. So it's, it's, it's like, um, staying in the center of the wheel, you know, here it's great to feel good and to be excited and all that other stuff. But, um, with every action is a equal and opposite reaction. And the, when the wheel goes up, it must come down. So you're finding your center and not celebrating as much, not, um, not being so immersed in this feeling good, feeling grat uh, grat gratitude, being optimistic about the future, and just finding your center so that you can do what you need to do to move forward, you know? Um, also, with the Six of Swords, you're going to calmer shores, but you're not actually oaring the boat. You know, Spirit is doing that for you. So you're telling Spirit where you want to go, in your life or what you want next in your life. And spirit is kind of ushering the way. And I feel like that's because of the work that you already did emotionally. Emotions are your greatest uh, tools for manifestation. So there's a lot of work on that here. And then um, the payoff comes. Okay. And then the Knight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, you know, these are just two energies that you're going to be taking on late, late, later in the month. The Knight of Pentacles slowly plants his seeds and then the universe co-creates with him and makes them sprout. He goes through a gestation period. Finally, they, you know, you can see them above ground and it'll be a while before fruit takes place, right? So that's really, you know, the process that you're in at the end of this month is starting something. You know, you have the Knight of Pentacles who is just planting a seeds and the Page of Swords who is just starting to learn something, you know? And so what at this this call these calmer shores take you to the beginning of a new path, a new venture. 
And with the Page of Swords, you have a lot to learn. You know, there is a child here wielding a very large and heavy sword. It's going to feel like a lot for you to start with, but worry not. You have everything that is required for you to be successful. Um, that's always the message in the Page of Swords. Um, the Page of Swords is growing your mental muscle and gaining wisdom, like a lot of wisdom, you know, just like absorbing truth and understanding and direction somehow. You know, this could be taking a course. This just could be learning through videos or reading or blog blog posts or whatever, you know, whatever it is that you may come across is going to inform you and you are like drinking it up. You're soaking it up like a sponge somehow, you know, and, and so this really tells me there's a big, big venture that you are um, taking on that you may not have done before. You know, it's like you, you now have the vision to do this, you know. Please clarify, Spirit. Please clarify for the Pisces family, Nine of Pentacles. You have King of Swords. Please clarify. We have Cups. Nine of Swords. Please clarify. Knight of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. And lastly, please clarify Page of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Cups. All right. So, King of Swords clarifies the Nine of Pentacles. This King of Swords is, um, he's like the master of his mind. You know, the kings are all masters and the sword is that mental energy. So this is a prolific content creator, somebody who writes a lot, somebody who puts out a lot of content in some way, or puts out very impactful content in some way. So some of you Pisces are very, very influential in this way. Like you have a large following or you have a devoted following or you're on your way to creating one because of your um, swords energy that you're sharing with the world. The king of swords doesn't just hold that in, you know. And look how big that sword is, right? It's the opposite of the page of swords. So that's what you're becoming on a new level in this new venture. Um, but but there is a part of you, like I told you, that the Nine of Pentacles is mature and experienced. So whatever it is that you are working on, your, your, your self-sufficient energy, that entrepreneurial energy, or that hermit mode in some way, comes from a lot of experience, a lot of wisdom, a lot of understanding. You know, so you know that you know something. And um, I, I do feel that a lot of you are like working for yourself by creating content in some way or creating something that feeds the mind or that requires a lot of mind energy. The King of Swords is all, all also a ruling in your favor. So if you have some type of um, um, legal case or um, arbitration or a decision pending for you, the King of Swords could be bringing you a ruling in your favor that's going to benefit your path ahead somehow. Yeah. And then the Nine of Swords clarifying that Three of Cups. The Nine of Swords, now this is just a clarifying card, so this energy doesn't exist on its own. But I'll tell you, this is a, this is um, not living in the present to the, to the point where you live in the past so much that you have regret that haunts you at nighttime, or you live in the future so much that you have fear and dread of what's to come. You know, and there's always something to regret and there's always something to fear. And it keeps us from getting a good night's sleep, number one. It keeps us from living life to its fullest and it messes with our head. You know, again, that swords is your mind, right? So it's, it's, it's your mental energy. So there's like mental draining, that the three of cups, the fates, are turning this around or they're taking this as fuel somehow, taking this as um, fertilizer for whatever it is that they have brewing up for you. They're definitely brewing something up for you. You know, so um, there is a reason for this for some of you beautiful Pisces. So, so some of this energy is here so that you can learn how to manage your mind and that will create this um, destined shift that the fates have for you and also bring about that celebration that the fates are offering you 
as you moved through this month. Um, so, you know, um, this is going to be different for all of you, but every one of you has that energy. We all do. That's, that's why I know it. <laughs> I certainly do. Um, that could potentially keep you up at night, right? So it's all about managing your mind. And I feel like once you do that, that, that opens the way for the fates, you know, there definitely is something that you need to address and it doesn't have any backing in your life. This is truly something that, um, you know, what works for me, ashwagandha is a supplement and, um, I get the, the, the gummies and that helps and impatience, um, Bach flower remedies, B-A-C-H, Bach flower remedies, impatience, the flower that helps me a lot with this energy. So, you know, I would look into Bach flower remedies. You could find something that works for you too. You know, I'm just saying, um, this is a very real energy that gets in the way because it messes with your mind, but it's just our minds playing tricks on us. We have to learn how to manage that. All right. Now the five of pentacles with the knight of pentacles. So the knight of pentacles, remember, is that slow energy, right? And the five of pentacles is a chain, it's a slow energy, I'm sorry, of planting your seeds and beginning a new crop, right? The five of pentacles is a change in the midst of growing season, basically. The five of pentacles, any five, is in the middle of your journey from spirit to spirit. You know, you, you start at zero, which is the ace card, and you end at 10 in every suit. And zero is source. It's you in the lap of God. And then you become manifest in that suit and you go through the journey to the 10 where you become the ace again, right? And you, re, you, you reunite with spirit. So when you're in the fives, you're as far as can be from spirit either way. If you turn around, it'll take you just as long the other way to get there. So you feel lost. You know, there's a lost feeling here, but there is a need to shift. There's a need to change, you know, with the five of pentacles, um, change how you invest your, invest your resources, change how you use your time, change how you move in business or, um, you know, in career or, um, how, however it is that you are accumulating wealth for a lot of you, you know, there's a need to shift that and there will be a shift. So um, the Knight of Pentacles could be, um, I am shifting how I invest my resources and I am planting a seed to go into a new direction. You know, I'm taking my seeds out of this pot and I'm putting them over here. It's going to take them longer to grow, but I know that there's a better future in this pot. That kind of energy um, and, you know, I, I, I see the big pentacle here on his, his shield and the big pentacle here. I feel that there is protection energy here and here too. Like, obviously there's pentacles all over it, but I'm getting protection. You know, I'm getting, um, uh, spirit is like man's rejection is God's protection. I feel like something fails or falls a little bit for you. You know, there's kind of a out in the cold energy to, to the five of pentacles that forces you to make this change for some of you. And that's the blessing. If you had kept going in this way, you know, it, it, it wouldn't have worked the way that spirit wants it to work for you. And then the knight of cups clarifies the page of swords. The knight of cups goes after what he wants and what he loves. So you're going after what you want, and what you love. So it's going to require some learning, some understanding, some absorbing of wisdom and truth, some time, some effort, and testing yourself and pushing yourself, you know? Um, but I mean, the Knight of Cups is going after the grail. He's, he's on a quest for the grail. So I feel like there's a really good reason you're doing this. And if you have a good reason for doing it, well, you're all the more empowered to be successful. You know, with the Knight of Cups, this means like, if, if, if you're taking a course or a college course, course, you are going to ace it because you have the, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups will not stop until he gets exactly what he wants. You know, so your advice cards are Temperance and the King of Wands. So Temperance is blending two elements to make a third. So it's that Knight of Pentacles energy. 
you know, it takes a while for crops to grow. They're like, like, like I said, there's a gestation period. You can't rush this, you know, um, temperance is don't hurry the process. Um, stay with the process. Don't give up either. Know that it's working. Trust that it's working. Spirit wants you to know that what you're doing will work. Um, you know, you just have to keep blending. Alchemy takes a long time. And it's not just time. You know, there could be pressure involved too. You know, time and pressure makes diamonds. I'm just getting that. And the King of Wands, he's, you know, you have the King of Swords and the King of Wands. This is very, very influential energy. So this is, and the King of Wands is the master of his body. Um, he's very, very passionate. Like he um, has strong spirit energy. You know, he, he, he can't be knocked off, off his throne ever. You know, he's like the ultimate authority. And so, and you would never want to go to war with him. You know, like he, he will win. He will always win. You know, he's the big winner. So spirit wouldn't give you the king of wands as an advice card if you didn't have what it takes to be the winner in this case, you know. Um, so I feel like um, keep going, keep blending, keep troubleshooting. You know, I get that troubleshooting energy with the five of pentacles, right? Trust, um, stay, stay um, optimistic and passionate about where you're going. King of Wands also is like that influencer energy. You know, here you have the King of Swords that you're starting with and you, and you have the King of Wands in your advice. King of Wands, and, and I, again, Spirit wouldn't tell you to be this unless you had everything required to do so. He's the ultimate influencer. Like he has a huge following. He's extremely charismatic. People want to just be in his company. So if you're not putting yourself out there, it's time to. Um, and if you are putting yourself out there and you don't feel like you're getting the reach that you need to, keep going with the temperance card, right? You're being tempered into something stronger. Now let's get some oracle cards for the beautiful Pisces family for the month ahead. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. All right. Cauldron. Synergy and healing. Now, this is that temperance energy. And look at the big pentacle behind it. You know, I really get that big pentacle energy, which is manifesting, densified manifest reality. It's creating something new, you know, um, in the physical realm that you want to create that has meaning for you that you are that 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 you are gifted to create with the kings you know um so cauldron synergy and healing so there's synergy between these elements making something new and the temperance is also a card of healing you know there 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 could definitely be healing energy in here for you also with the 3 of cups and the knight of cups and with the 6 of swords if you're in need of healing have faith with the King of Wands and keep working, treat, keep trying things. And I never talk about Bach flower remedies ever in my readings. There definitely could be a message in there for you. You know, they're, they're definitely like for, for whatever reason, that's, that's what came to me. And here you have synergy and healing, which are two of the main uh, messages of Bach flower remedies in some of those other natural um, elements like ashwagandha. Yeah. Um, so that's beautiful. And also the three of cups, these, these beautiful norns and fates have this cauldron that they're brewing for you. They're creating something for you and synergy happens when they do it together. Right. And, and so it could be destined time for your healing to come. Um, something that's been really bothering you, like, um, the inability to forgive yourself or someone else you know, or the inability to see a bright future for whatever reason based on the past, you know, or fear of the future. So, okay, this deck here, the, the, the Samhain Oracle, um, the meanings on the cards aren't super clear. So I just, I'm going to read the, there's a little blurb in the book for each card. I'm going to read that as well too, okay? What do we have for beautiful Pisces for the month ahead? Thank you, Spirit. What do we have for beautiful Pisces for the Pisces family? Okay, you have two. Black cat and altar. Wow, okay. Black cat. 
There is a curious journey into the depths of the unknown, hidden so deep that only the brave will gracefully return with light in their eyes and shadow leading home. An altar, a sacred devotion, a worship skin deep, rising from the ash, the waters you keep. Wow. So I'm not going to read both of these. I'm going to see which one resonates with me most here. Now, there's a message for both of them here, though. Altar, you know, definitely reminds me, too, of this uh, vis vision here, you know, of the um, blending of the elements, the creating, cr creating out of your own energy, really, you know, a worship skim deep rising from the ash, the waters you keep. You know, this is um, you working with the universe on something specifically you, you know, which is definitely a healing energy. There's a curious journey into the depths of the unknown, hidden so deep that only the brave will gracefully return with light in their eyes and shadow leading home. I feel like this has the message for your healing here. All right, so... Black cat, number seven. Lucky number seven. I love that. Okay. Keywords, independence, survival, and grace. One second here. Hello, cat with nine lives. Cats are graceful creatures rivaling the snobbiest of humans. They're fiercely independent and value their time and space above all things. They are aloof, yet love affection, and they put their health and well-being above all other things. Interesting. Cats are also mysterious. They are a symbol of empowerment and setting boundaries, two qualities every witch needs to be successful in her craft. No wonder cats are a favorite among a witch's familiars. When the, cat, when the black cat comes purring into your reading, you're being asked to find your independence. Grab some me time so you can find your footing again. It is easy to get lost in the chaos when you have a lot going on. Taking a step back to see the bigger picture is the best way to get some fresh ideas about where to go next, how to solve a problem, or how to get out of a funk. Remember, me time doesn't have to be dramatic. Having 20-minute coffee break at your local coffee shop can be just as rewarding as an all-day staycation. When it comes to me time, choose quality over quantity always. Black Cat asks you to learn the power of saying no. We all have to set boundaries and rules. We cannot expect others to know what is okay or not okay without some guidance. Nor can we expect others to know when we have too much on our plates. It's okay to say no. This isn't a selfish act, and it doesn't mean you don't care. It's a sign of self-respect and will help in the long term those in your immediate circle. You cannot give what you do not have. You know, look at that. You know, I really feel like the Nine of Pentacles, that kind of self-sufficient energy. Let's see how many candles we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my gosh. And there's nine candles, which reflect these nine pentacles, right? So just, and this is how you start your month. So, so spirit is just saying, don't, don't feel bad about that. Don't let anybody make you um, question yourself in that way. You are the most important part of your journey right now. You know, spirit is focusing on you. You know, I love that beautiful Pisces. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being you. And I'll see you next time. Peace.